I have another flashlight I want to share with you today. This is the Spiraz EST Max tactical flashlight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Spiraz for sending out their EST Max tactical flashlight so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do, as always, is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light, then I'll go over its physical and performance specification, then its modes of operation, then we'll get it outside and do some demonstrations. All right, before we take a closer look at the EST Max, let's take a look at what it came with. This is the box that the light came in, inside of the box, a few pieces. One is the manual and warranty information, all important, of course. There is, of course, a USB Type-C charging cable, a lanyard, and a pair of spare ring O-rings. Now, of course, the light did come with a 3200 milliamp hour 18650 lithium ion battery, which is in the light, of course, and it does come with a removable pocket clip. So what is so different about this light? Well, its key features include, very simply, it has a dual mode tactical and EDC. So you can switch between purely tactical and dual mode EDC, which is to say it's more practical for everyday carry and or camping. And of course it does also come with a five ear warranty. Pretty good in the flashlights of these days. All right, let's get into the physical specifications. Start with weight with the battery installed, of course is five ounces or 143 grams. Length overall, 5.5 inches, 140 millimeters. Diameter at its widest is 1.2 inches, 30 millimeters. It does of course have an IP68 waterproof rating and an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. All right, just before I demonstrate the operation of the light, let's go through its performance specifications. So on turbo, it comes in at 2,500 lumens, which will last for three hours and 30 minutes. There is no step down for this light. It has a high setting of 450 lumens, lasting for five hours, 48 minutes. Medium of 100 lumens, lasting for 24 hours. Low of 10 lumens, lasting for 180 hours, and a strobe which runs at the full 2500 lumens. You'll note that there is no Firefly or Eco Mode. The lowest lumen setting is 10 lumens for this light. Let me give you a few close ups of the light so you get some idea of what it is we're dealing with. I did say that it is referred to as a tactical flashlight or tactical and EDC flashlight. So, what makes it a tactical flash? Couple things. It does have that crenulated basil on top, can be used for striking or impact tool. It's very subtle, it's not very uh, large or very prominent, and I, I actually prefer that. It does have a side operating button, but that is for lumen settings, but it can also be used for turning it on and off. So this is where the EDC mode comes in for this, or the camping mode, as I like to use it for, is everything can be done from the side switch, but at the same time, it does also have a tail switch. And this is the other thing that makes it a tactical flashlight in that it has both the instant access to turbo and instant access to strobe up there as well. And I can show you where the pocket clip is fixes on and uh, it is a one-way pocket clip but it is quite a good design for sitting fairly deep in a pocket and still making it easy to withdraw and use. And of course the last thing to show you here would be the deeply seated USB type c charging cable and maybe the very last thing is of course the reflector now it is an orange peel reflector but it is quite deep in nature so it should give us a balance between flood and a spotlight and of course we'll see that when we get it out the doors all right let's go through the operation of the est max and we'll start with what is it that makes this a tactical flashlight well for me a tactical flashlight is one that has a tail cap switch like this which will allow me instant access to turbo and in some cases strobe and this will do both as i'll explain for the most part i'm not a fan of tail cap switches and the reason being is i find it difficult for a lot of them to operate it with my thumb. This flashlight seems to be the exception to the rule. I have no issues at all accessing the tail cap switch on this to operate it. So yeah, a really nice, well-designed tail cap switch. Now, I guess the other thing about tail cap switches is 
you know where they are. They're easy to find. You're never going to have an issue looking for the on off button because it's always going to be in the same place. And unlike a lot of flashlights and to this light to a certain degree, the, the side button, as you'll see, can be a little bit challenging to find, especially if you have gloves on or it's dark. So without looking at it, where does your thumb or your finger go to turn it on? Not so with the tail cap switch. It's always going to be in the same place, and in this case, very easy to operate. Now, this, in my mind, is a properly designed tail cap switch for tactical use. And what I mean by that is it is a partial press that turns on the turbo. You don't have to press it all the way in, just a very light switch, a very light tap. Now, you can double partial press and you'll get strobe. And that works well. Now you can, of course, lock it on if you want to lock it on in turbo as well. But really that's all you have is turbo and strobe from the tail cap switch. Again, that's the tactical aspect of it. Now let's move down to the side mounted switch. So it's the side mounted switch that gives you access to all the lumen settings. That's what makes it an EDC flashlight is this side mounted switch. To turn the light on, you start by pressing and holding for almost a full second and the light will come on in whatever the last lumen setting was. And that means the light does have memory for that. And you can see right now it is on in turbo. If I press and hold Hold, it will cycle through low, medium, high, turbo, low, medium, high, turbo, turn it off, down to low again. And now to press it and turn it off, you again have to hold it, or sorry, you just have to press it and the light goes off. Now you can also access strobe from this again with a double tap and turn it off again. So that's the basic operation of this light. I think now it's probably time to get it outdoors and do some demonstrations. All right, we're doing some nighttime testing for the Spiraz EST Max. Let's start it off in low. Uh, you know, it's reaching out 15, 20 feet. My shed lights up, but just barely. I wouldn't call this a lot of light in an enclosed area it would be. Let's take it up. Medium, now, that, now we're starting to get some significant light there is some hot spot to it, but it is pretty much all flood and a significant amount of flood. Take it up to the next level. That's a lot of light for sure. That reaches out through my backyard, through the neighbor's backyard after that, and on up to the street as far as I can see. All right, let's close this video up with a few more comments for the Spiraz EST Max Tactical Flashlight. What is it I like most about this light? Well, I think it has to be the operating system. I like the fact that the tactical aspect of this light is all about using the tail cap switch. I have instant momentary access to both turbo and strobe from the tail switch. Yet if I want to use the lumen settings, I can do so easily enough from the side button. I think that having those separated makes it a much more user-friendly flashlight. The other thing I like about it is in fact the beam cast. Yes, it does have a very central hotspot and a good amount of light, but I like that they do blend together well, giving you a nice balance between the two. Overall fit and finish of this light is uh, spot on, second to none. It's really a well-made flashlight. I have quite a bit of confidence in using it. Okay, what I'll do from here is open it up to you. If you have any or comments or questions about the Spear S EST Max, please put them in the comments section below. As far as the description and operation of, of this light, as well as links to where you can take another look at, they'll all be in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that pathless travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.